Hi, and welcome back to my Iron Man series. I just wanted to say thank you for 100 subscribers. In today's episode, we're going to be doing some life skilling, specifically cooking, and maybe sprinkling in some sailing and a couple other things as well. But this is going to be a primarily life skilling focused episode. So with that, sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy. So today I am going to be making balanos meals. I'm going to do 10 of them. And here is the recipe for all of the things that go into that meal. Look at that. That list is so long. Boy, this is going to be a chore. Anyway, it's for this Arcana of Fate quest right here. So let's get going on this i'm going to go look at my stock i should have quite a bit of what i need already so obviously i already have the beer so let's go ahead and start doing the sausage so even the sausage isn't as simple what i need for it is pepper and onions i know i can go gather onions from somewhere or at least i'm pretty sure i can but i can't gather pepper from anywhere so what i need to do is I went to Calpheon to go buy pepper seeds, uh, onion seeds and olive seeds to make olive oil uh, for a different step. And I went and rented out three more fences, so I'm gonna have five farms total. I went to bed after planting these crops last night, but they're finished now. So I have pepper and I have onion and olives for the olive oil. My stack of special carriage just broke a thousand. That's pretty cool. Cooking up the grilled sausage, I need 10 of it. Okay, next on the docket is I'm heading over to Stonetail Ranch. Because there's some cows over here, and I gotta go do the milking minigame. Okay, here's the cow. Oh, let's do the milking minigame. I haven't done this for so long. And I don't really remember how to do it. Alright, got some milk. How much is that? 40? Not bad. I think that is going to be all I need, actually. While making potato dough, I got to processing professional. <laughs> I also think I made up enough cheese. I was looking again, and I think I need like 36. So yeah, I have enough. And I think I need... 100 dough so hopefully i have enough i should Alrighty, it's time to make the first uh ingredient like main ingredient in the balanos meal i have this red sauce already i got it from a quest reward it might not be enough though unless i get 10 out of these five so it might happen i think it probably will but i guess we'll see Nice, I ended off with 11. That's great. Now, I am guess I'll just keep going with the other stuff. It's going to require me to do some fishing and stuff, so it's going to take another 30 minutes, an hour to make all of these, but that's okay. Now, you might be wondering why I am doing this right now, and the reason why is there's a quest called the Friendly Astrologist. I'm trying to get that one done, and it requires 10 Balanos meals. It also requires a bunch of other items, which should be on screen now. And so yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. Anyway, back to cooking. This one was pretty easy to make. Uh, it just required the eight beef, five flour, two eggs, two cheese, and four deep frying oil. And I just learned that deep frying oil and olive oil can be bought from the vendors. So these olives I can use as vegetables. So I messed up. It's not too big a deal. It's just a, wait, a waiting game. But I totally thought I had made or farmed every single item I needed for this. But in the stir fried vegetables, it requires hot peppers. And I do not have hot peppers. So I'm going to get those planted. And I need to fish up a bunch of fish anyway. So... I'll just AFK fish until those are done, and then I will dry all my fish, and 
hopefully by the time I'm done fishing, it will be close to done. I got these peppers planted. The temperature's slightly out of their range here, so that is going to slow it down. So it's going to take seven hours. So I guess this Balanos meal thing is going to take a lot longer than I thought because I missed that singular thing. At this point, I'm going to finish up making the rest of everything that I need. So the smoked fish steak. And then I'm just going to wait for peppers to be done. And I'll be able to pretty easily make the stir fried vegetables once I get those peppers. Alrighty, I am doing the smoked fish steak. I hopefully have enough fish, or hopefully these types of fish work. Alrighty, that is all of the stuff made. I got these three ingredients and the beer that I need. So all I need to do is stir fried vegetables, which I need those hot peppers for, which are going to be another seven hours or so. So I think I'm going to work on the rest of this quest, collecting all the ingredients I need for it. So I need to go to a few different places to get some stuff, do some hunting, and yeah, it should be pretty fun. Shouldn't take all that long, so I definitely still will be waiting on those hot peppers though. So first thing I'm gonna do is get the soft fairy feather, which comes from Navern Step. You just have to kill the like bird things and then pan them. That's also how you get the potion piece from there. So maybe I'll get that and be just extremely lucky. <laughs> I just killed a pack of these guys. I just need 10 feathers. So it should probably only take one or two. Next on the list is the um, elder tree planks. I gotta go get 10 of those. They come mainly from this area like the western valencia but they also can be found up here in the north part so i'm heading over just to eat well Nova. okay i found some elder trees i know this isn't gonna give me all 10 that i need it should give me two to four maybe if i'm lucky but i will get all 10 of those these elder trees are kind of spread out but i hold up a map of where all of them are Hopefully it won't take too long. Hopefully I get 10. Nope, only 6. I'm going to use Agris on the one up here, just so that I don't have to go to a different spot. Here's the fortune teller mushrooms. By the way, that's what I'm gathering. Perfect. Got 8 from that. Next up, I need to go get a fruit of enchantment, so I'm just going to go gather some random vegetables or something. Done enough gathering to get 250 tomatoes, but... Night market, I want to go spend some energy on that. So I'm probably only going to spend 150. So I'll be over at the night market pretty soon. Okay, let's let's refresh this three times. No match for wine. Crystal extraction tool. I'm going to pass up on that. I don't really care that much about those. Let's get another one. Blackstones. Okay, all done. I'm going to spend the rest of my energy gathering. There we go. It only took like... 30 minutes to get it, but got the last one I needed. So there is the 10. Okay, the next thing I am going for is fire horns. I think I already have seven. Six. Yeah, seven. Which these come from hunting. So I'm going to go hunting. I was just doing some hunting quests to get my sniper rifle, but I got 130 tasks done in my progression pass. So let's open up the gold bars. Let's see what I get. I am very excited for this. All right, let's see. 1,000 is the worst, 10,000 is the best. All right, got the worst. That's still 100 million versus a billion. A billion would have been real nice, but whatever. I still won't complain about 100 mil. And this should be apprentice one which means i get a new match lock out of this so i'm gonna grab out some weapon black stones and let's enhance it enhancing is my favorite thing in the game i used to hate it so much but it's so fun all right let's just tap that and start using a, tw a 10 here another 10 and let's get a 20 on this one wow this is so lucky 
get another 20. Start using 30s now. I'm going to bring this down to 80 durability, and if it doesn't go, I'm going to be done. That is the 10th horn. We're all done with that. So fleece is apparently really hard to get except through workers. So I am going to send a worker there. Um, You can also get it from killing a bunch of sheep around there, but it's like a 0.01% chance or something. So it's like one in a thousand according to the thing I was looking at. So I don't think that's worth it. So I'll just send a worker there and get the 50 or so fleece I need from that. So I think that should probably still happen before my farms are done. Because I'm waiting on the hot pepper farm right here. And they're about they're 45% almost. At this point, I don't know what I'm going to do while I'm waiting. I'm probably going to go finish up this quest. And then I'll, I might do some hunting or other life skilling. Kind of craving doing some of that. So I think that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll go get a boat. You know what? I think that's what I'm going to do when I get over there. I'm going to start the Great Expedition quest line. I got to the point where I am... I got a Bartali sailboat. Anyway, I think at this point, let's take it out and take it for a spin. I think I got to go get sailors first, but... Alrighty. Awesome. Got my boat out. Pretty nice. Definitely one of those. I have no clue which one, though. And we are on the ship. Here it is. Just a basic sailboat. It does require a lot of resources to upgrade, so I will be working on those. I'm going to spread that out over quite a long time. Because I know the first upgrade requires like 8,000 logs. Or 80,000, I think, actually. But, like, you can double it so it actually only requires, like, 20-ish thousand. So that's still just so many, and you can't have workers gather logs. That is something that I wish they would change, is that they would allow workers to gather normal logs. Everything else, though, can be gathered by my workers, so I'm just going to have them set out and make sure that I'm letting them do that. And over time, I'll build up all the resources I need to start upgrading my ship. That is Sailing Apprentice. Nice. I'm getting pretty close to finishing these quests up. I'll show you. There's a bunch of the Great Expedition, but I'm just going for this one specifically. 13 left. That is Sailing Skilled. That means I finished the whole entire first portion of the Great Expedition. The next portion is just talking to a bunch of node managers as well as the part after that. So both the Explored Balanus and Calpheon are talking to all the island node managers. I have iron production, coal production, pine production, and flax. I have all three of those things going, but the only one I can't do it with workers is this. And it's a hundred, um, if you only get one, it's a hundred logs per timber square. Usually you can get like, you have to process it twice. So it's more like 25 to 30, maybe 40 logs per timber square. That gives you an idea of how much that's going to be. I'm excited to do this. It's going to be something I can do when I'm not feeling like grinding. I finished up the sailing quests and I took um, a couple hour break. And I think all of my plants are ready. So I'm going to go harvest those. Cook what I need to and get the balanose meal. And then we can finally do what I was planning on doing for this whole episode. Let's see if this was the right recipe. Crispy stir fried vegetables. Yep. So I just needed the normal stir-fried vegetables from that. It is time to start putting all the ingredients in for the balanos meal. So we got that one, that one, that one. Stir-fried vegetables times two. And here is the last one right there. Yeah, let's do this. I gotta make ten. Please don't fail any of these. I ended off with 20 Balanos meals. Okay, the last step for this quest is to see if I have enough fleece. I have 52. I think that should be enough. 
Alrighty, I'm here at the quest. I, ha I just have to turn in all of these things. So, let's do it. I think that's everything. Now, arrange this. I'm missing one. Okay. have a problem. I realized I got the wrong type of mushrooms. I gotta go figure out where to get the actual or correct ones from. So, I am not quite done like I thought I was. Just finished up another part of the progression pass. 500 mil. Pretty good. So, I've been trying to gather these big fortune teller mushrooms, and I've gone to like 20 or 30 spawns. And the thing is, is I just keep doing that, except I could just wait an hour and a half. For this guy to be done and i'll probably have enough so i am actually gonna go to Fetus habitat and the reason i'm doing that is because i was just looking through these and like looking at my knowledge in all of these areas and i have all the knowledge in all of these areas pretty much except for this and this is i'm gonna get that later when i go to the back part of that area but Fetus Habitat, I'm going to just do like an hour here just for fun. It's good combat XP. And it also drops Lemuria, which I can feed to my fairy. And it's really good to feed to the fairy. So those two reasons are why I'm going to do it. Also, it would be cool to get a Marnie's Research Box. I do want to go for all those titles at some point, And the Atanas Elements as well. Whoa, I just got a Marnie's Research Box for Fetus. That's a fun one. I guess I am spending more time here than I initially planned on. I am just killing field bosses, but something nice just happened. I got this, the Virto weapon. Let's see what level 40 skill I get. Okay, level 40 skill on my fairy. Miraculous cheer one. All right, this fairy is dead. I'm going to keep it for now, but I'm going to stop leveling it because Miraculous Cheer 1 is better than no Miraculous Cheer. But I'm not going to level it anymore. And I am going to save up a bunch of blues and stuff so I can roll another fairy. Wanted to get a quick update on the grinding. I have S rank and every single knowledge except for this Warrior Chief. They spawn randomly around a bunch of different spawn points and they take a while to spawn and I think they can only spawn in like one of the spawn points or maybe there's like two of them that can spawn in like a few different spawn points or something like that um i've killed like three though I haven't gotten the knowledge yet so i waited overnight for these big fortune teller mushrooms and i still only have six so hopefully that will be done by the end of the day Alrighty, let's do secret shop i'm going to keep like 50 energy so only four times let's see what we get Blackstone weapons. Blackstone armors. More armors. And let's see what the last one is. More armors. So I just found a whole ton of fortune teller mushrooms over here in this town. And they're just in the town. And there's like 10 spawns of it. So I should be able to get this really quickly. I'm going to hop between servers to get them so this should not take long i already got one right there so let's get three more barely made it to this thundercloud dude i'm pretty big i hopefully can get a weapon box out of it Alrighty, it actually got killed it didn't despawn this time usually it despawns it had one minute left till it despawned so that was a thundercloud kudum let's see what we get belongings of an adventurer Yes, that is so good. Okay, let's pop that open real quick. Come on. It's going to be a cheer no matter what. So let's see what we get. Oh, well, that's a spoiler. Orc and Red Belt up at the top. Um, I think that's not as good as what I have. So I'm just going to equip it on this character for now. I need to spend these stacks that I have. I want to try to do some pen, 
attempts on this red nose armor. So let's enhance this to get rid of that stack. And now it's at plus eight, that's pretty good. But next, let's start doing my red nose. So I have all my cron stones. I'm not sure if croning is better than um, not croning at this point because you do get one stack per attempt now. And so I think croning might just be better to do now. I know it used to not be, but let's use this 150 and throw this in 5% chance to go. And we're going to cron it. We have a decent chance to actually get it with how many crons I have right now. But let's go ahead and go for it. I also should have enough memory fragments to repair this. Although I forgot to grab them out. But let's just tap this. Hopefully it goes. Okay. Try again. And again. Wait, I'm really not smart. I totally forgot to add my Volks. That feels really bad. Okay, keep popping this. I have quite a few attempts. Well, nine attempts right now. So on average, I probably shouldn't get it, but here's to hoping we do. And another fail. I'm probably going to stick, maybe stick around with a few cron stones. Oh, that one got my hopes up. It kind of stuck around. I thought that was going to be it. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> it's rolling me. Oh, this is so, so fun. I love doing this. Okay. Couple more attempts. I think I'll stop when this piece breaks, so we'll stop at 10 attempts. Now that one was fast. Okay, last attempt here. And it's broken. The blacksmith in this place does not sell crons, so let's let's tap it again. 171 attempt. So we have a pretty high stack here. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. And a fail. I am doing field bosses because they just spawned, and I just found out that Alfion has five big fortune teller mushrooms. So I am officially going to be done with that, which means once I'm done with these bosses, I can go ahead and do that. Let's turn this in, and we're finally done. That took like almost 24 hours to get those. I wasn't actively going for them the whole time, but that took a while. Let's put this all together. That, okay. All done. Let's turn it in. Okay, so I just completed that first quest. What it gives you is you get to pick a card, and you get this right here. So you get one of these cards. For the Black Spirit Adventure. So I got a plus two, and you get to pick a dice. So you get to do that once every three days. Wow, that was a fun episode for me. Life skilling, I don't know. I just love it. I also enjoy grinding as well, but it's nice to take a break from the grinding to do some life skilling and gathering items and stuff. As an Iron Man, that quest was surprisingly long to do. It took me probably like 36 hours to finish up. So. I'm just hoping that next time I need to do a life skill grind for something, it won't take quite so long to figure out how to do everything. I did make some mistakes going for all of that, but overall I'm pretty happy with how that episode turned out. So if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one.